For a long time, morality was something that happened between humans. Someone was doing something good or bad to someone else, and in most cases, only a few people would witness it. But nowadays, morality is often a complex play that happens on a global stage with an audience of millions, where the actors can be humans, but also intelligent machines, animals, and even companies. What the expanded morality team does is trying to make sense of this new and complicated state of play. We ask questions like, how can we use artificial intelligence to improve the justice system? How should we use automated driving to improve road safety statistics? And how can we provide mathematical theories of what it means for people to behave morally in a world where the concept of morality has expanded so much? I'm an economist and I work on the long-term evolutionary foundations of morality. What this research team does is that, uh, while previously I worked mostly with economists and with evolutionary biologists, well, now I get to meet people from psychology, people from even from marketing, and this really opens my eyes as to what morality means for other disciplines and, and in human society. So it's a pleasure to meet with them on a regular basis and just to hear about what they're doing, and it's very stimulating and, and fun. So in my own research in uh, psychology of reputation, it's been really helpful to get insights from anthropologists about the content and the function of reputations uh, across diverse human societies. And then also to get insights from economists, for example, about using or thinking about reputation within kind of context of market dynamics, which has helped me to reframe how I think about the psychology of reputation, how it might work, how it might function. Mm -hmm.